All right, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Now in today's video we are going to start with tongue tied. Now the um, entire arrangement is not done yet. Um, I just heard the song yesterday, but the intro is already finished and um, it's it's beautiful so we might as well start with that. Now you, you can't download this on, on my website yet so I'll put a, a temporary download to this just the uh, first eight bars in the description. So download that and let's get started. All right, let's do this. So we are going to cover the intro today. Now what I like about doing this is you, you can print it like really big. So first of all, we are in the key of E major. We have four sharps, so... Our four chords are the minor, sixth, and uh, chord one, and chord four, and obviously chord five. So that's our progression. Minor six, major one, major four, chord five, back to minor six. When we just start off, I want you to play just the, the root notes. But the rhythm is also important, so. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Let's look at the, the right hand. We start with an upbeat. Ta -ti. All right. So that's the, the initial idea up to the F sharp, which is right there. All right, so I'm going to mark it there. So this... Part is the initial idea. Ta -ti, ta -ti, ta -ti, ta -ti. Up until there. That's the idea. This whole piece of music is very rhythm dependent. All right, that's what gives it its unique aspect. Practice it very slowly and focus on the rhythm. Now also notice the fingerings I'm using, um, just copy what I'm doing and then you'll be fine. So I start with my thumb on the E and then jump with pinky to B and then it's a bit of a, s a stretch from finger 2 to the C sharp and then I put finger 4 on the G sharp like that. So I'm going to mark this first part A. And then let's start with B. Ta -ti, ta -ti. So that I'll say that's the the next idea. Again, up until the F sharp over there. So from the E to that F sharp is the next link that you practice separately. Now, when you play them together, it's going to be um, you know, a little bit weird. Practice makes perfect. So, the E goes with the G sharp, and then you can hold down with the pedal while you go to the A. The B goes along with the F sharp. So that's A and B. Just to change it up a bit, I'm going to do it an octave higher. You can see I've wrote da -di -di. Notice the G clef here. It has a little 8 there. But that 8 indicates that we play this an octave higher. So from there, it's just D sharp octave. And then with my thumb on the E over here. 
and in terms of the left hand all I'm doing is the same root chords but I'm playing it diatonic you know with the fifth at the top the fingers I'm using pinky and finger two and then I keep the thumb down and I go like this pinky on the A finger two on the the E Whatever works best for you, do that. And this is where change. Together, yeah? Together. There. It only changes in the last two bars. Meanwhile, I'll work on the full arrangements and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright.